those diamonds are definitely dazzling with such exquisite craftsmanship. Now moving on, as Mr. Jain mentioned in his opening speech, we are here to celebrate diamonds that do good and in recognition of the De Beers Group three years partnership with UN Women, I would like to welcome Ms. Nishta Satyam, Deputy Country Representative for UN Women to address this occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, I am absolutely delighted to be here and I must say that I have never missed having a diamond more. Uh, Sachin, there are people who don't have diamonds, so there's nothing to look at when you call, uh, call for that. But uh, hopefully, uh, I am delighted really to be here for several reasons and it's important uh, for me to take the next five minutes and tell you what those reasons are. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, just to give you a shameless bit of what UN Women does, because I'm paid for it, UN Women is the entity, and we are the newest kid on the block. We're the entity of the United Nations that dedicatedly work on advancing women's rights and gender equality in the country. We are present in about 193 countries, uh, and we are very, very uh, eager to work with governments, the private sector, communities, women representatives across sectors to further and advance gender inequality. We've been in India since 2007 as UNIFEM, and we're now known as UN Women. We're a multi-country office for India, Bhutan, Maldives, and Sri Lanka. When I received an invite, uh, really, uh, to, to, this, uh, to this lovely evening that you guys have put together, I was thinking to myself, I've really never owned a diamond. I don't even know what it looks like. And I said, what am I exactly going to say? But I was so delighted uh, by the partnership that you and women had established with DBS. It's a three year long partnership that really recognizes DBS as the early riser, as I would say, in the scheme of gender equality as a he for she champion. What exactly is he for she and why do we need he for she? He for she is a global solidarity movement that really mobilizes one half of UNAM humanity to stand for the other. And when we really launched he for she in 2014 uh, at the UN, um, Honestly, and to it, as a moment of honesty, uh, we thought, you know, it's again one of those campaigns that the UN is going to launch. You know, it's going to go unnoticed. I don't even think people are going to sign up for it. But within one week of launching the campaign, one man from every single country in the world had signed up as a he for she. It really was a moment of change uh, for the United Nations because it was the first time that we had started looking at men as partners in the journey of promoting gender equality. And that's a huge change in the women's movement. Beyond that, uh, I think it, is very it was very important for us then, once we launched that campaign, to identify champions. And I'm glad Bruce is here. Bruce, you are our man. It matters so much to us when leaders of organizations, men more so, stand up and say, this is something that I am going to actively advocate for. And we are so proud of this partnership that we have signed with GBS and it's so close to our heart. But why do we exactly need he for she? Why do we need that movement in India? Well, to reflect on several, while women have made great strides in this country, and some of us are here in this room uh, that have progressed in our careers, that have achieved everything that we set out for, but when you really look at data, it is hard to ignore that we actually have one of the world worst child sex ratios in the world. Needless to say, fewer girls are in school, fewer, in colleges, fewer in workplaces, and much fewer in governance and decision making. It is also one of the countries where we lose 60% of women in the workforce, in the talent pipeline, in the organized corporate sector. As we go forward, it is a statistic that we cannot afford. We just cannot afford, and if you and me were to go back home and do exactly what we did yesterday, let me say that again, if you and me were to go back home and were to do exactly what we did yesterday and nothing differently, it would take us another 270 years to be a gender equal world. I'm sure none of us want to leave an unequal world back. Let me also present to you the opportunity that we have in front of us. 
This is also the first time in the history of mankind that gender equality is an actual possibility. 2079 is when we will achieve gender equality if we don't do anything differently. 2030 is the goal that the United Nations, its member countries, our private sector partners have set for ourselves through the Sustainable Development Goals. Needless to say, all of us have a responsibility, and I'm glad De Beers has put, it, ha put its hands up on, among, the indu among industry players to be that leader. The, there is something that is more forever than a diamond, and that is the irreversible change and the opportunity that we have in front of us to make changes that will leave the world a better place. We cannot look at a better place if 51% of the population in this country is sitting, as our ED says, watching the game and not playing it. And I'm sure that kind of forever will actually be our adventure. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I now welcome the UN Women He For She thematic champion, the De Beers Group of Companies CEO, Mr. Bruce Cleaver. <laughs> Um, welcome to everybody. It's wonderful to have you all here at this amazing event. Um, it's just a typical event in Mumbai. So much vibe, so much dynamism, and as you've already heard, such a great cause. It's a great pleasure for me to be here tonight, and especially at an event such as this that focuses on an issue that is very, very important to me personally. We've just heard from Nishta about the UN Women He For She program, and this is something very close to my own heart as I have the honor of being one of the UN's He For She thematic champions. As part of this, we at De Beers are focusing on making some significant changes that will help to improve the prospects for women and girls, while at the same time improving our own prospects as a business. I'd like to spend a few minutes telling you tonight about our experience so far, and why I think the focus on gender diversity is the right thing morally, the right thing for each of our companies to do, and the right thing for the diamond industry in general. Starting first at our own story within De Beers, we have set a target of achieving gender parity in appointments into senior roles by 2020. As things stand, only 24% of our global workforce is female, and at a senior level, this figure is just 20%. Frankly, that's not good enough, and that's for a number of reasons. First, it's simply not right that we aren't finding ways to give women as much opportunity as men. Half of the available talent pool, after all, is female, so it's morally the right thing to do to have more female representation. But it's much more than that. It also makes sound business sense to invest in getting more women into the workforce. In our industry, around 90% of everything we sell is purchased by or for women. So if we have a low level of female representation in guiding our business, we will inevitably missing opportunities as we won't have the full spectrum of insights coming through in our decision-making process. And if you look at research more generally, it's a plain fact that businesses with a gender-balanced leadership perform better. For instance, it's estimated that companies with three or more women in senior management functions score higher in all dimensions of organizational effectiveness. McKinsey have carried out some more specific research in this area, and their findings were that companies in the top quartile for gender diversity are 15% more likely to have financial returns above their respective national industry medians. In the United Kingdom, greater gender diversity on the senior executive team corresponded to the highest performance uplift of their data set. For every 10% increase in gender diversity, EBIT rose by 3.5%. So as a business leader, it became increasingly clear to me that unless we made changes at De Beers to get more women in leadership roles, I would be allowing the business to underperform. Within the last three years, I've appointed three women to our global executive committee team, and we are already seeing the benefits of our programs internally as greater diversity of thought and experience helps drive better performance. Beyond our employment, however, 
as you've heard, we've worked with the UN to change our marketing. Now, historically, a lot of advertising, including, of course, for diamonds, has focused more on the role that women play in supporting the men in their lives. However, with women taking on such a broad range of roles in the workplace and in society, as well as in the family, and with female economic empowerment on the rise, it was vital that we started advertising diamonds in a different way. Women are buying more and more of the diamond jewelry around the world, and they're increasingly buying for themselves, particularly in markets such as the US. In fact, self-purchasing of non-bridal diamond jewelry pieces grew in the US by more than a third between 2005 and 2015. So we need to ensure we speak to women in a way that reflects their current roles and their current perceptions. And so we have worked with UN Women to ensure we portray a much wider view of women and the variety of experiences that they have. Our most recent Forevermark campaign in the US, called Tribute, carried exactly this message. It focused on women as career people, high achievers and leaders, as well as mothers, wives, and family women. Now this message clearly resonated very strongly, as Tribute was our most successful Forevermark campaign ever. In my role as a Hifashi champion, I see my responsibility as changing those things that I have some power to change so that the situation for women improves. And just as I think this is important for De Beers, I think it's important for the wider diamond industry, as we all have an interest in making sure that the message of diamonds speaks strongly to its main consumer group, and of course in making our businesses perform absolutely as strongly as possible. If we support women's rights and opportunities in all of our activities, the public perception of diamonds will continue to improve and we will for sure see sustained business benefit. And in this vein, I'm delighted to see a great many initiatives already in place here in India, thanks to the efforts of many, many of you in the room, and I thank you for that. I know that many of you already commit substantial time, money, and effort to supporting initiatives that help meet women's needs in Indian society. Whether it's through education, healthcare, or other social programs, much is being done to help build a better world for women. But I think we as leaders have so much power in our hands that we must constantly think how we can do more. And this is especially the case when we can make changes that also benefit our business, but not only that, the wider industry. So I encourage each and every one of you to do what the people of De Beers have done and count yourselves in for the UN Women He For She campaign. I urge you to go online to the UN Women website and make a public commitment to doing all you can to help further the cause of female empowerment. Because we have the power to make our businesses, our industry and our world a better place simply by standing up for the prospects of our wives, our mothers, our daughters, and all the women in our lives. I think counting ourselves in is the easiest choice of all. So thank you so much again for joining us here tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful evening and I look forward to seeing you all in the rest of the evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Cleaver, for providing us with those insights. Today, we have among us powerful women who have made an impact to society by supporting gender equality and the advancement of women in the field of work. These are the true champions of gender equality who will sparkle just like the beautiful forever mark diamond. I would like to call upon one such champion who is a strong advocate for women's education and promoter of gender equality. I invite Ms. Shaina NC on stage to say a few words, please. Well, all women empower women. Today, we're paying a tribute, not just to those unknown women all across India, but so many of whom have contributed, whether it's through Ankanwadis, through films, through financial literacy, through art, through music. So my appeal to all of you, they're not professional models. Please do clap for them and applaud them for their contribution. And of course, we have one heroine who has put heroes to shame. Tapsi Panu, who I believe has almost empowered men today. So for those who feel compromised, 
please applaud every single woman that you see today. Thank you. I have the mic in my hand for me. Ashwini Ayer Tiwari, a filmmaker who tells stories of life with strong women characters to empower and entertain her audience worldwide. A classic example, Bareli Ki Barfi.